my name is Greg Michael and I'll just play it for you the nursery rhyme called Sleeping Little Bunnies and uh, as usual I base my version on famous Mr. Tumble the character from the TV show called Something Special available on CBBS here in the UK or anywhere in the world on YouTube. Before we get started learning this song consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button next to it because that way you'll be notified about my future videos. Also I'll be placing the link to my website where you can download the code sheet for this lesson and I recommend that you do it before we start learning because that way it'll be easier to follow the lesson itself. Okay so let's start learning the song. Ooh, there was this uh, chord here called B minor that is a bar chord so this is the the only challenge that you're gonna have you like if you are a complete beginner if not uh, you should be fine so the intro is A major which is open A string followed by second finger on fret 2 fret uh, well string 4 string 3 fret 2 with finger number 3 fret 2 string 2 with finger number 4 that's the sound you want to you after. After that, you go to the chord called E major, which is move those middle fingers one string up towards the ceiling, and then place the first finger on uh, string three, fret one, and strum all strings. So that's the sound you want. And after that, you have this B major chord, which is it's almost like A major chord that we played earlier, you just have to slide it up two frets higher and place the bar in front of it. And here's the tip, you need to be pressing with the first finger on the string number 5 and 1, in case you didn't know. So you don't have to worry about pressing with your first finger all, uh, all five strings. take some time and you know what if you're a complete beginner consider focusing on five string uh, sorry four middle strings like five four three and uh, two and if it's too much consider you know even strumming the fretted notes of that chord that, that looks like a major so it could look like this one, two. oh my god it's a wrong 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 start uh, one more time one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I kind of focused on a fretted note of those chords, you know, with exception of the chord number, the chord E that I played four strings. So one. So it was. Again, I'll play the intro. One, two, three. So it's quite possible to play this song without knowing the bar chords if you are a beginner but if you are more intermediate player then you know just do what you have to do which is play the full bar chord so one two three four one two three four by the way i i don't really fret the b bar chord this way i play like that Very often I don't even play the fast uh, the fast string, I just don't do it. Or if I do it, I, I have to make more effort. And I have this weird uh, bend of my pinky that... That is fine if you are a more advanced player, I guess. Okay, so... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you might be thinking... Hold on, this doesn't sound like this version of Mr. Tambo. Uh, yes, it doesn't because I'm not finger picking yet. But, you know, I thought that I'm going to first do the strumming version of it because I think it's more important to be able to play this song and then focus on finger style if you want to do that. So towards the end of the lesson, I'm going to show you the finger ring or finger pattern of, of, for, for, for that song if you want to do it that way. Okay, so back to, to the song. So here we are. This is the verse. We go major. So C, so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, two chords per measure. 
And then you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's when you let this chord ring and then you say wake up little bunnies. Uh, or wake up bunnies actually. Uh, okay, so so one more time. And then you do E major to B major. So E major to B major. Well, if you're a beginner, it's a, it's a challenge. So from your B major, all you need to do, well, what you have to do is to kind of land with all fingers at once, which is quite challenging. But you know, with practice, you'll get there. So from here, you get the reference note that is located here on fret two, string five, and try to place all fingers at once. So kind of imagine that you place this A major chord on the 4th fret and then at the same time the the fast finger the the challenge is that this finger is uh, quite important to be the early or fast because that's the first string you play the fifth string not other other notes you know of the of the chord so here we are so I think I did more complicated pattern which was something like that which is down down up 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 down up down 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 I want to point at this uh, point something out uh, before in between chords I played this blank strum you know so basically on the last upstroke of uh, of the chord of the first chord I actually take off my fingers of the fretboard in order to get more time to change the chord so down down up, down down off 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 down 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 off down down up, down 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 yes unfortunately it's uh, it's more complicated i mean the song but I think it's still learn, uh, still worth learning it because it's fun and and you know children love it. My son loves this song, and um, I think you know it's worth and 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 every time you know spending time on learning songs for your for your children is really really, really valuable because they they love the songs and I think they will appreciate the, the the effort. And who knows, maybe you're gonna inspire your children to to play music as well. Okay, so. Uh, this is it. I hope that this lesson uh, was uh, helpful. Uh, download the chord sheet from my website for free, and and you know, try to follow chords. You know, and and you know, have fun with it. And and if you want to be um, in touch, if you want to keep in touch, just just hit the bell button next to subscribe button. So both basically press those two buttons, and that way we will be connected. Uh, so thanks for now. I will see you soon. And. Uh, if you like the video, by the way, uh, hit the like button and place some comments if you have some suggestions about future lessons. So for now, take care and all the best and good luck with this song. Bye. Hello, it's Greg again. I completely forgot about the fingerstyle way of playing this song. So here we are. We need your thumb, first, second and then third finger only.
to play those patterns. So grab your A major chord and place your thumb on the string number five and pluck after with the first finger string number four. And then with the third finger pluck string number two and with the second finger play, pluck string number three. So it goes like that. Thumb, one, three, two. Thumb, one, three, two. And I think it'll be cool to have another lesson about finger style. So I don't want to use too much of uh, this lesson time on, on, on doing finger style, but uh, the rule is that uh, you learn the pattern and the pattern because it's consistent through every single chord. So uh, the same pattern would be used on the on the third chord that uh, that is called uh, B major. So it's exactly the same uh, order of notes. But to play E major chord, you replace string number five with string number six, and the rest is exactly the same. So you go six four. Three, two, six, four, three, two, and it's thumb, one, three, two, thumb, one, three, two. So that's it. I'm going to play the verse. and then you do strumming. There's no way of using the, the, the pick for that, I think. You can do it with the first finger. Now, I, when I play finger style, I actually use the, the thumb pick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it to the description under the video if you want to get one. It, uh, it kind of makes the, the, the work easy, I think, you know, so uh, so remember, when you, when you wear a thumb pick, there's one rule, you never play uh, with the thumb pick on, a, on an upstroke, because the, the pick will uh, fall, fall off your finger. So as long as you do the downstroke with the pick, you are fine. And, you know, in this case, it's going to be always the downstroke. So here we are. I hope that it helps. See you soon.